Great intros. We're already late. But super late. But butts, 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 butts. Nothing but butts. This has all been butts. It's all been butts. Furrow geeks. That's is everybody. We're now. doing a party. If you know, if you don't know who we are, go check the last episode. We'll do an introduction there, and then just watch this one again. <laughs> Who do I want to be today? The only 89 you have left? Yeah, you only have 189 left, and you have 89 quests to do. Oh, I guess I've, I've magically made that work. Because it, that that's who I was always thinking it was going to be 80, my 89 quest person. But I wasn't being very conscious about it. Cool! Cool, cool. Hey, as long as it works, it works. I guess I'm going to teleport to the Aetherite, and then... Okay, yeah, I guess I'm going to teleport to the Aetherite. And then what instance are you, are you all in? We're in one, and you should be as well. Yes, I am. Yes. I presume you need to go back to the ship? Correct the Mundo. Um, loser. It's not letting me right-click you for some reason? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Are we? Now we're good. Do you need the map marker? Nope, because I know exactly where the ship is. That's why I asked if we're going back to the ship. Okay. The ship. The ship. The how ship is on fire. How are you going to find that little ship in this big place? It's not uh, a you ship. You know exactly where it is? <laughs> it's uh, not black. <laughs> also, I can see a little bit better than you guys can. Ah. Uh, another one of those. Yeah, another one. Another one. And another one. Off we go! And we're going okay. over here. The music in this place is weird. I I keep thinking it's a, like a some a, some sound coming outside my my headphones, and it's not. It's not really music. It's more soundscape. Look, there's Alphano. Alphano, what are you doing here? Doing Alphano things. And there's no, ruins. Alphano. Alphano got an Alphano. Everyone, we discovered alien relics, and we can't. We don't have time to be surprised or inquisitive about it. Just like the last time, everybody, there's proof that other life exists in the universe. Apparently, it's all depressing and caused our science project to kill us. <laughs> It's caused everything to be super depressed. I had a feeling that was coming. Depression? It's always coming. Oh, no, everything. not the thing. Depression's always yeah. here. <laughs> everything. No, it's more referring to the dragon. That Everything's decided it depressing. Wanted to take out of your face. Oh, great. Are we going to find out Find out that, oh, yes, the Alligans did get the space at one point. Those Alligans. I mean, that's oh. a theory. They were close, I would think. They did launch Dalamud. True. And, I mean, like, do you remember Ozzy Sla? Not to mention the, uh, uh, the wreck of the Heimdall. I mean, that part is true. I forgot about the Heimdall. Never forget about the Heimdall. Oh. Do what I say. Don't do what I want you to do. Do what there, I tell you to do. There we have Fates having seen the similar problems that I was having. 
with my PC. Estinian. Oh no, nowhere near that bad. Estinian, are you king of the hill? If he was king of the hill, he should be further up. Estinian, do you know what's happening? No. I see dragons. I kill dragons, right? Oh, we gotta go all the way back. We gotta go all the way back now. <laughs> we we just played King of the Hill with Estinian. Ah, uh, there we go. Dang it, Alfie! Bloop! Yay! But, but, oh goody! Kind of stinium. That's who I found. Oh no, I'm talking about what I'm doing right now, because guess who's not in my game entrapped anymore? Off of Snorlax. Tiamat. I'm doing the uh, capstone quest for Heaven's Word. Oh, I mean, it feels like forever ago. That's because I'm lazy. What are you doing back being trapped here, Tiamat? What do you think you see? What do you think, player character? You, I think I see something over there. We I fought that thing. That work. I did all that work killing that dragon by myself, and you took my dynamis crystal. He ganked your Dynamis Crystal. How oh. do you feel about him taking your Dynamis Crystal? Oh, God. <laughs> it gives me... It's giving anger? And butts. I mean, rage. Butts is not an emotion. Mm, it, um, I'm not sure about that one. I think he might be mix, mixed up on that one. I, I, if not, I, it at least entices emotion. Maybe it's the emotion of lust. Is butts. Yeah. Where, where, where are the transformations due to lust? <laughs> Never mind. I don't think we want to see the transformation. I asked the question. Uh, I didn't want answered. Suddenly there's a bunch of other people. Other part of the universe. Not this one. This one's more despair and death. Lust, unfortunately, encourages at least some form of life and competition. Why are there black bars everywhere now? So what you're saying is that'll be 6.2. No, no, no. <laughs> well, well, what I'm what I'm saying is lust uh, lust transformations were in 2.0. Ah. Hawk Manor. Oh. Uh, okay. I I wasn't going to go with we'll see him we'll see them in 6.9, guys. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, middle of nowhere. Yay. Although that said, everywhere here is in the middle of nowhere. Not to no, me. No, 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 it's not in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of something. Oh, no, that's true. This isn't the middle of nowhere. This is the edge of nowhere. Well, I'm just referencing the next cutscene. Ah. And I don't want to be too explicit. Yes, yes, Estinian. You, you, everything you see is dragons. Everything's a dragon. You're a dragon. I'm a it's dragon. It's dragons all the way down. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, as far as we know, it probably is. If you get far enough, it becomes turtle dragons. And then from there, it's all the way down. Well, wait. And then back up. So, wait, I, I think I missed that. Only we, Stain and I, are able to perceive them? Yeah. Oh. Because you're connected to dragons. Yep, everyone else just kind of senses something weird. Basically, they get the typical ghost reaction of chills down the spine in cold spots. Whereas mm -hmm. you and Stain get to fight shadow dragons from the shadow realm. Oh god, we're now in Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck! Purple realm. As long as we don't do Fine. dungeon dice monsters, I'm okay. 
Mind crush. No, no mind crush. Bad Pharaoh. Bad. Mind crush? No. Thigh crush. What? I play in, I play in attack mode ultra mega chicken zord. <laughs> oh okay. Over there. Back over to the crystal. Yeah, hey, I've been yeah, here before. You're supposed to be aware of this etherite. Hey, those and dragons look boys. Those dragons look like the the dragon I fought for the roll quest. Hmm, interesting. I'm sure there's literally zero connotation between the two. I'm gonna go with none. This game is is not that intricate. It's a really shallow game. I mean, it's all about fashion at the end. I mean, just for that, I think honestly at this point, maybe we should just you know have another time shenanigans for you. What, delete his account and have him start at the beginning again? Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> Their world is dead? Their world is dead. Of course the world is dead. Not a single... No, I was just thinking, you know, well, we know how much he loves Final Fantasy VIII, so maybe he'd like some time compression. I would like that. No! I mean, we already get enough video compression. Um... <laughs> Ow. Our friend Sancred, where is he? A strange question. He is at your side, is he not? Oh yes. He is here and there, and everywhere within this space. He would tell you himself if he had form to form words. Oh no, Mitty, I'm disintegrated. Ah, thank Grid. Huh. Wait, what? Such loading. He's saying that he's everywhere. You don't know why oh. Thank Grid yelling at the ground. Are you there? To the oblivion, I send. Metion, they yes. exist. I try to they exist because I'm playing them. There's a brief, sharp a breeze that hits you upside the back of your head. Who came at me despite <laughs> being unable to breathe. Thank Grid? No, wait, the breeze comes later. I'll end. Hmm. 100 Acre Wood? What? No, it seems to be a bit on the nose for a dragon name. What you call the heart? Or perhaps the soul? In his final moment, he cried out for me. A single word. proved stronger than the despair that ruled him. It overpowered it. Called so, it remind me, what was our betting pull? Uh... Into a place you I think it was, uh... And where life can endure. I think one person said Rianche and the other person said Ishtola. Yes. Mm. Thank Red's dead. Remains to be I mean, I, I don't see a body, so... No, no, you are seeing the body. I mean, you're, you're standing inside the body. All of this is Thancred, Eddie. All of it. He is the rock foundation of your life. No, he's not the rock. Uh, he is, however, the oxygen you're breathing. You will never reach. The and the land you're standing on. No, the land are the land was already there. Emotions uh. dictate reality in this space. Such changes as you might. Will not alter in its nature. You may but he is the reason you're not suffocating and dying while standing on it. Walk, but not advance. <laughs> Meteon holds too much sway here. How do we contend with a foe who can unmake us on a whim?
might not know. But Tancred gave his life that we might come this far. We must press on. Agreed. We cannot turn tail here. Not without something to show for our comrade's sacrifice. Okay, so the so presently the reason that there's there's a world to stand on is because Thancred what brought it into existence. Uh, no, he, not the world itself. Uh, the world itself it was over to here. No, he's the reason why we're able to survive here. Well, he's the reason why we're able. He he's literally providing like the uh, basically he's providing a life support bubble. Well. From what I recall of it, even the land itself was inconsequential. Like, it was ethereal itself, but just made of dynamis. So, oh, he so that, that I don't remember. I, I just remember him providing the oxygen for us to breathe. I think it was and both. The, and a little bit of light for yeah. us to see by. This last thing made it sound like it was both. Like, okay, I mean, I could be misremembering. That is certainly possible. Well, I think it suggested that this entire space, the oxygen, the land, you know, the very concept of being able to see it and interact with it on some substantial level. Was Thancred. Yeah. That's why I said he's the rock, the foundation that we stand on. Well, no one should be surprised. We literally were going into a space with a creature who didn't need to breathe air. Why did, why did we expect any different, <laughs> this place to be even hospitable, let alone a good battleground? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, all they really did, though, was replace one anime bullshit with another. <laughs> Instead of, I can just somehow exist here <laughs> with, I can exist here because of the life forces of another person who died on our behalf. Well, oh, there's our first death. That's not a permadeath. Are you yeah. sure about that? Well, Orion J was saying that he doesn't believe he's dead permanently. This game is too theatrical for that to be a permadeath. Or at least not a complete death. If there's if he's going to die, we're going to get him one more time to like to let him have his soliloquy. Oh, to get a Harshavant moment? I mean, if they had decided that that's it, we're going to abruptly lose Thancred, I would have a lot of respect for the game. Did for you the, say you would gain? or I lose? would gain respect for the game for abruptly removing a integral character from the game just like that. I would only Someone ding them literally with us since 2.0. Yeah. Exactly. I would only 1.0. Technically 1.0. I didn't know that he was in 1.0. I didn't play 1.0. He oh, was. I thought he was. Uh, I've watched videos. He is in one. The only ding I would get the game at that point was that they didn't make it heavy enough. Well, it's supposed to be death. It's supposed to sometimes come out of nowhere. It's also the factor that, uh, remember, Earth. that uh, there were some deaths that happened off screen. In the story, at least. And this would be a rough equivalent of that. I think it's here. It's on top. Top, top. Tippity top. Oh, up here. Thank you. Yeah. Very odd bridge, yeah. but I'll take all, it. All sad dragons. My chocobo, my chocobo couldn't survive here. 
Well, it's not that your chocobo couldn't survive, it's that he, he ran out of food. No, Christian. So he ran off to go despair. deal with the Sorry for interrupting. Welcome to the hatchery. Full of bard of broken dreams. And horrible abominations against dragon kind. Well, metaphor has gone wrong. Given it was a metaphor, did it ever go right? Well, can't make something go right without breaking a few eggs, right? And life will find a way. Life uh, finds a way. I think Mignon would highly yeah, disagree yeah. with that. Oh, just wait. Oh yeah, this is lovely. This is lovely. We should build a home here. It would smell awful. Uh, I mean, I am on... Well, I technically I'm not on record. Um, I want to go on record as the fact that I would definitely appreciate getting um, um, Ultimate Fool housing. <laughs> Though maybe not on this island. Maybe on a different island. Island 3. <laughs> Island 3. Maybe or maybe Island 4, because it would have a nice view. I mean, like, Island 2 would be kind of hard, but that, that you'll have to actually get to Island 2 to know why. It's kind of... Eh, well, if we could, I can pull it off. Maybe the reason why you would want to Ultima Thule housing is because it would actually be the only housing district that's unlimited. <laughs> See, what's going on it's here is... By the, it's limited by the scope of your emotions. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting. And the emotions to get a house are pretty big. Any Star guys, Trek and... undiscovered, undiscovered country vibes out of this whole place, and it's give, it's give me the willies. Oh, you're gonna keep getting the willies throughout this. It's going to rustle your jimmies. When, when do we Ooh. find God and turn out he's not real? Oh, I mean, I this mean... is a Final Fantasy. <laughs> Currently, that God is Medion, so. Well, that's that, that's who ended up being God in the undiscovered country, <laughs> Medion, or their version of, of Medion. Well, it's all of the Medion, the conglomeration of Medion. Council of Medion. Flock of Medion. No, no, flock, flock is, is to... A depression of Meteon. There you go, I like I it. That works. A grieving of Meteon. There Ooh. we go. Yeah. What would they call in crow? What's a group of crows called or ravens if one of those Murder. has... Murder. There you go. <laughs> That's uh, what it was, the line Murder I was thinking of. of. <laughs> that almost honestly, works. I'm not, even sure if, I'm not even sure if depression would be the right term. It's more like a CPSD, uh, CPSTD of uh, Medion. Well, I'm trying to remember, like, what would you call a group of mourners? Uh, uh, procession? Oh, a wake of Medion. Oh! <laughs> That'd probably be accurate. Yeah? Because then you yeah. get the double of, uh, of, you know, when you, when, uh, Something with wings uh, displaces wind. You, it, it creates a wake. As well as uh, a wake for the dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only, th the only thing that's really missing from all that is that, for me, Medion is the, like, the answer to, what if we made up Existential Crisis a video game boss? Well, I mean, that was why I was saying a CPTSD. <laughs> complex, PTD, complex PTSD. There's so part of me that's... a lot of fucking death and uh, despair that the uh, collective of Medion saw. 
there's still space in my head being rented for that scene where Midian basically scrapped, hey, we actually found life in the universe, and it all sucked. Why do yeah. you think you're different? Um, this one died out. This one died out. This one killed themselves. Um, this one begged to die. Um, this one, they all turned on each other, and I found one person, and then they said... No, don't even try it. Life isn't worth it. And then killed himself in front of me. Still got a little bit of blood in my feathers. Mm. Like I said, complex PTSD. Like, there's there's a... There's something in that that basically oh, screams that... that is interesting. Outside of a will to survive, are just all our characters egotistical enough to think, oh, we're different? <laughs> which is yeah, like a. Is, which is either a question everyone is asking themselves and confidently answering, or a question that nobody was asking themselves this entire time. Which is funny because we just defeated someone who spent the last thousands of years either pondering or completely avoiding that question. <laughs> I mean, there is a second. There is a tertiary option. What would that be? Which is okay. Maybe that's what answer everyone else was getting, but maybe we owe it to ourselves to find out for ourselves if we get a different result. Which is beautiful. Alphana, what did you find? He found not a goddamn thing because it's too dark. It's too dark. Somebody turn on the universe. I don't know why I thought that was funny, but... Ah, so you are. Congo's on Island 2. Yep. Ah, so Congo gets to find out why housing on Island 2 is a, a, a bit of a hassle. And are you okay up there? Yes, I am fine. Because I avoided okay. getting into a fight immediately after that fall. Okay, okay, okay. I <laughs> saw the immediate one, and I'm like, do I need to fly up there? Are you good? I am you good. need assistance. I can help. Yeah, he's fine now, though. I'm a healer. He's fine. Death is a momentary lapse. All I can think of <laughs> Which now is a funny is thing like... to say in this place. Yeah, right? In this of all places. Yeah, death and inconvenience. <laughs> Just like some mildly awkward moment. Then again, with the current theory that, uh, you know, Ariand uh, Thancred isn't really dead. He's just inconvenienced. I don't have a body. You turned me into an island. In island? I got better. I got better. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> you turned me into breathable air for my companions. <laughs> I became the rock beneath your feet. The air you breathe. And the water that you wade through. I got better. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Ignore that. I'm um, sorry, what are we ignoring? Probably the A rank of this zone. Uh, I didn't get a nasty gram message, so yeah, probably the A rank. 
If it was an S rank, we should have gotten a nasty gram that something incredibly powerful was close. Let's get going. Let's get going. Are we getting down to business? Let's get down to business to defeat Meteon. Like it? I like it. Mm hmm. I mean, at least it's scary. Come on, second line. Second line. I. Mm -hmm. I'm blanking on that one. I can't figure I'm out. I'm yes handing you. Fuck your yes and. <laughs> the next line is ha. Hmm. <laughs> this would be a difficult domicile to be in. And now he knows. But yeah, if I you do it right, I, it could be very big. A difficult domicile? But MPX, yes. we love double Ds. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Almost, I almost got a second line. He remaineth as he was when I yes, but are you really going to live in the sweater puppies? <laughs> Absolutely. Perhaps I could... I'll handle this. Except here, they're probably after actual puppies made of sweaters. So, even better. Not going to uh, say anything. Waiting to die like all the others, are you? A Tinian, rainbow. Don't, don't, don't punch down to the dragon living in the e edge of the universe. Punch up to the dragon living at the edge of the universe. He is a dragoon. Sure you can. Oh my god, I got it. I got the second line. Okay, ready? Okay, so let's get down to business. To defeat Meteon. Oh! Stand we tall, the scions of the seven dawn. Boom, boom. Well done. Well done. That was good. Well done. Yep. I need to go back and find out what the actual lyrics were to see how you remixed it. Uh, the second line should have been, have they sent me daughters when I asked for sons? Oh, yeah. One of you braved the expanse. Bearing with him a clutch of eggs. And now I got to build a double rainbow to bet and span the skies. Double rainbow. Oh, you're currently talking with Unend? Mm -hmm. Uh, Linu Va uh, Vali. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm talking to the person who's actually streaming right now and not uh, off derping on their own thing. Yes. Okay, if you're currently... I, I need to step away for a second to grab a beverage. Thank you, all in. Relatively long cutscene. Things like, man, I saw dragons. Dragons are cool. They're everywhere on our planet. And all is like, you fucking killed yeah. them all, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, we probably. We got a ton of dragons. We got a ton of dragons. You know, Midgard Stormer's whole clutch. Oh, that coward? Fuck that coward. But also, I killed a lot of them, by the way. You can smell it on me. What a pleasant death cult. <laughs> Island 2's residence? Or are we talking about the dragons? I mean, technically both apply. Yeah, but they're different. I don't know. <laughs> the dragons really aren't pleasant. Whereas Island 2's residents are much more... At least agreeable. They're not overly, you know, depressing. They're just simply over-enthusiastic. They have social <laughs> graces. They, they have etiquette. The same choice. They just... My family might still be alive. Mm. Oh, God. Island 3's residents yeah, are going to be the fun uh, They're, they're kind of like, oh, um... You know, you're very pleasant. It's been a while since we've you seen living. Um... We'd like to hang, spend some time with you. How do you feel about that? Oh, that's nice. Why do you want to hang out with me? Can you break the cycle Death. Of torment? Because your flesh sack looks lovely, and we'd like to remember how to make one so that we can die, please. The risk of his life. 
There's no nobility in your penance. You wallow in self pity. Like, look at you, how squishy you are. I could probably snap your neck like a twig if I were so inclined. If I could actually interact with you physically. Aww. Oh! Wow. He's actually dancing. That look half bad, too. Did that dragon just turn into a bird and then back into a cloud? Uh, yeah. yes. Essentially, yes. Okay, Far that's totally normal. It disappeared. And then it disappeared, yes. Yes. Hmm. Well, technically it hasn't disappeared yet, I am, uh, according to the stream. This is a very strange form of self-serve. Stinian, this is why you wear a mask outside your home. Ah, you, he didn't you socially in, distance. You, you got in, uh, introduced to the uh, buffet. I see. This is the emotion that bars our way. The very, very unique buffet. The rest is up to you. Too. <laughs> now, I don't think Astinian was on anyone's card. Because, yeah, he's not. Well, I think somebody put it there before your Stella, but then changed it back to your Stella. I think. I don't know. It wasn't me because, well, I already completed the story, so I can't make betting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've just been the scorekeeper. He's so, so far we have Astinian. Thankred. Anybody else? To remake this place. Do you want to add I change bets? Nope. I'm literally have no, this. This is all. This new information has done nothing to oh, what I've been writing you're down. Still, you're still. You're still. Um. You're still doubling down on it being Ishtola. I am doubling down on this. None of this sticking. The wind. Ah. It will not lead us astray. That's an interesting theory. He also, they. Uh. uh Estinian has become the wind. Oh, God. The wind in my sails. Estinian is a blowhard. <laughs> well, I mean, Estinian always was a wanderer going wherever the wind took him. Mm. Or, you know, during the period after the events of Storm of, of Heaven's Ward. Yeah, before yeah. that, it was the wind caused by dragon wings. Yeah, that's true. At least they gave him a, a proper speech, but if anything, it solidifies that that, that nothing that's happening right now is, is um is permanent. Okay, so now you're gonna go ride to Stinian. Yep. Oh God! Ride like deliberate. ride like the Estinian. Ride Stinian. Very deliberate. Ride him. First, Alphano, how you doing? How you holding up? I'll go ahead and ride across as well this way. And I'll meet you on the other side. Hello from the other side! I must have called like a thousand times. And now everybody is Paying attention. Hey. It's only just this one time. Destination! Hey now! You're an all-star. Get your game on. Great, now I can't I'll think of anything. Traffic. To play traffic. Good job, Estinian. We're in the exact same place with just a higher elevation. Way to sacrifice yourself for this. No, you're on island number two. Number two is, is apt description. I mean, I'm not saying that the island is made of soot and poo, but I'm also not saying that it isn't. Alright, what do you have for me now? Show me your goods, sir! Oh god, I have Vanu Zundu bodies. Yep, you can now dress up as a bird boy. Uh, 
I never got that one. Weird. Oh, and the shaded... Okay, this is where I can get the shaded visor if I wanted to use that, but... Oof. Press on. Press the on button. Oh, that's where that uh, that's from. Okay. Wait, Asinian had an on button? It was always on. I don't know. I think that's that does the opposite to describe Astinian. <laughs> Actually, I kind of I kind of respect that answer, because if Astinian was never turned on, that means he's ace, and I kind of respect that. I I, I I accept him as an ace as a ace hero. That's fair. But also, there is there is technically one instance of him being turned on, and it always involved dragons. That's kind of disturbing, Eddie. I mean, that's less a boner and more a murder boner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murder yeah. boners aren't boners, Eddie. Oh, I, I mean, I, even I'll make a clear distinction of the, the difference between the two. Oh, by the way, those uh, creatures you're seeing off in the distance, those are Yah. Yeah! Ah, oh, damn it! You beat me to it. Yeah, man. I can't believe David. Yeah. David beat me to it. Good. <laughs> and I, I, I tried to do my best, like wait, rally wait, wait, for it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Is there a, a hunt where we'll fight the yes queen? No, they don't oh. have a queen. <laughs> they don't have a queen. <sighs> ah. That made me feel good. Oh. Right here. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what it's out there. It's hard to make out of this distance. Yeah. Yeah, it's called space. It's a dark for you still. Yeah, better brighten up the universe then. Oh, I almost forgot there's also old ones. I mean other ones. Outer ones. No, other. Not outer, other. I know, but... It's there a are walk. to outer ones. Alright, well... We'll fight them. Nope. You're gonna nope. beat up the beholder? Nope. Hey, there's a chocobo here. Oh, there's other people here. See, there are other people here. People? Yeah, look, there's people over there. Yeah, there's a random adventurer. Yeah, they, they must have hopped lost. aboard the ship. That's a hell of a lost if they got lost. Well, if we're talking like anime-ass stuff, yeah, there's the... We're talking like that level of oh fuckery lost. Oh boy. This guy is a funny one. I do like the fact that their bodies are basically inky, oily, black spots. That they can control uh, several, multiple parts independently? Yes. So they can pop their head off? Self-decapitate. Yes, tell us. We'll tell you what it means to be alive, sure. Alright. Uh, so I now have Vath Thorax added. But I still have the Nath stuff. Let's see. 
think she has both of those already. Already. Oh, hey, Mithrite Nuggets. And Black Copper Gill. Oh, God, this got dark quick. Well, yeah. Remember where we are. <laughs> if you want a happy, cheery storyline, we are in a bad place for that. Yep. Like, specifically so. These are the... Uh, the best way to describe them is, like, Yes, we like to die. I think what MPX said 15 minutes ago was, was apt. Yes. A pleasant death death cult? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. We would like to order one de uh, death, please. Yes, I would like one of your finest deaths, please. Do you cater? We would like to order a buffet of death, please. I mean, they are probably the most amiable out of the uh, people here. That is very relative. Well, I mean, so far you've met the dragons who do nothing but wallow in misery. And the friendly, really, what can you call them, but aliens that um, that just wish to peacefully go. They're like, look, we've 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 seen what the universe has to offer, and we'd like to opt out on any further of this universe. No, oh, wait. Let me um, let me get specifics here. So, what was the name? Oh, getting me directionals. Um, no. Let's see. What was that called? Let me forget the name of that very famous death cult. Oh yeah. Okay. So, we have emo dragons. And and shape shifting Heaven's Gate members got it. I had a feeling you were yeah. going to go Heaven's Gate with that, and I appreciate that energy. Oh boy! And then there's going to be uh, race three. Yep. That is a good question. What race three is? Oh, well, and me and Mike will know. You're we're... nearly there. You you were nearly there. I'm tracking your progress. Uh, oh, goody. Uh, I thought I could do the mob slippers. Oh! Uh, what, a, what a lovely place you have. And oldie. Uh, let's see. Can I get oldie by using purple nuts? Of course, adept stuff. Uh, no, I cannot. That's kind of sad. What are you trying to get? I'm just checking to see what got added and to getting everything to allied and so far the uh, only thing I didn't have was old D. Oh, hey, I can get I'm that. guessing that the RA has gotten the eighth right. No, to... we're still a bit shy of it. Well, it's right over here. It's on the horizon. Yeah, no, we're yeah, it's it, we're getting close to it. He's uh, I think he's currently in the. Wake, uh, wake the neighbors, uh, story. Mm -hmm. The aether life forms who don't want the dire coming. The aether life forms who don't want dire coming. Yes, I want to speak. I want to do stuff. Who stopped this? Congratulations, you now have the second etherite of the zone. Yay. There is one more to go. I can teleport from one de depressing situation to another at will now. No, you could already have done that in real life. <laughs> Not the teleportation part. Hey y'all, I'm y'all making the justification of why Midian has a bad impression on life forms. That's the best you got. Mm. 
Metion, your problem is is that you didn't wait long enough for the invention of JRPGs in your world. You would have you would have been just fine if you waited that long. Back to the uh, same place, I believe, right? Yep. The invention of JRPGs. We get ten, uh, Shin Megami Tensei, which is even darker than this. Yeah, yeah. Someone should tell her about Shin Megami Tensei, and then she'll go, "Oh, okay. Never mind. We can survive until that happens." At no, least. no. I'm talking the actual Shin Megami Tensei, not Persona. Shin Megami Tensei. Sure, sure. Like that really changes my sentence very much. Yeah, it changes it greatly because the fact is that in one of them you become basically devil and decide to war on God. You were Prada? You and you wear Prada? Prada? Nope. No, you don't. It's not worth it. Then you're right. Forget it, because Mia nope. would surely kill us after that. Nope. Nope. You get to have Dante as a buddy, though. Yeah, okay, sure. Dante's cool. He might okay. convince her. From Devil May Cry. And depending on which version, you uh, may or may not get a lap dance from Lil Nas X. <laughs> and now we're back to us surviving. Yep, that's my thought. <laughs> I can't say I've been that way, but but I'll I'll take little Nas X lap dance. I won't say no. <laughs> oh boy! Okay. That's that. Man. Sorry to bring up the the stream's least favorite author, but this is giving me some really bad Speaker of the Dead vibes. The Speaker of the Dead? Mm -hmm. Have you ever read that one? No. Okay, then that's a reference no one will get. But well, what's the what's the first book called? Ender's Game. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Then yes, I have read it. Okay. I'm just used to it being the Ender series, not Speaker of the Dead. Well, that's the name of the second book. That's why I was referring to that yeah. specifically. And then the... the oh, Fred, what were they called again? Piquitos? These guys remind me of the Piquitos. So when they're saying, did you remind, remember to do our custom for greeting people? And I'm like, oh no, this is where you kill me and think I'm going to turn into a tree? And later you go, oops, we didn't know that was a thing you couldn't do. We thought everyone well, could do that. Wait, you it, can't turn into a tree when you're killed? We're not X-Death. Sorry. Yeah, the the, the, cent the the central conflict in that book was that the alien species thought every you honor people by killing them and becoming trees, except there's the only species that can do that. So when they did that to humans, they were like, oh shit, we didn't know that's how it didn't work for you. We thought we were at, we were giving you a Nirvana. We didn't know we were killing you. So now these, these people with their heads coming off going like, to welcome you, we remove your head. <laughs> or something. That's like what I'm afraid of. Well, no, their heads popping off are more like the head tilt that you see from various animals. So. You brace yourself for a rush of sweet, sweet aether. When nothing seems to happen, perhaps you need to wait a little longer. What are you guys, addicts? Give me some of that sweet, sweet aether. Well, yes, they're kind of that, Eddie. Is this thing on? Press the button. One cannot simply generate aether here. 
When does Ness simply generate A3? And then, what's your, what's your plan, Yustola? We need a plan. You see, at least they're having the conversation here about like, hey, I don't think we can do what you think we're, we can do. Oh, well, that's good. We talked about it. If only the Pequitos knew about that in that book. Such a shame. Knowledge and technological advance. Yeah, like everybody else, you're not special. I mean, rough? Okay, this sounds like one of the races um, that Metion was actually talking about, like specifically. I mean, maybe they are. What's an interesting expression change? <laughs> oh. oh, we can tell you the truth of existence, but you won't like it. We Is the answer 42? I mean, maybe. Okay, so who's going to... Let's draw straws. Who's going to listen to what the universe means and immediately implode? Because apparently it's how bad it is. I'm the main character, so I absolve myself from the from the straw pulling. Straw oh, no, draw. No, they want you to listen. Me? Yeah, you're you have main character syndrome. That means you have plot armor. <laughs> that that'd be great. I listen to it. Die game over. <laughs> we start we start Final Fantasy fourteen all over again. <laughs> from level one. <laughs> Pulling up on a little dinghy to Limza Lamenza. <laughs> no, wait. Even better. <laughs> we die. We wake up on a wagon. 
and we start playing uh. Skyrim. <laughs> You're awake. <laughs> I had a dream. <laughs> what? Why do we gotta go all the way over there? Ah. Yeah, I have to get into this. Because you have to. I have to get in this car. Because that's the goal. I have to sit here. Hey, at least here. you're not like walking. Uh, uh, me and Michael had to do walking. Yeah, we had to walk this. Actually, technically, you could have helped me, but I decided no, I'm gonna. No, do this. no, we had to walk this. Really? I, I was gonna make you suffer. I could have carried you, but I was gonna make you suffer even anyways. What did you what did you find your reaction? Mostly because of the fact that we weren't on at the same time, so most of the time. Hey look, there's water here. Is that Thank Grid too? Oh, I see you're on island three. Congratulations. Yep. Uh, which means he gets to meet who the third race is and start making weird, oh god moments. Weird <laughs> noises. Oh, I get it. I know who's on the third island. No, you don't. Sure, I do. No, you don't. In this depressing, soul-crushing place, it can only be one, one people. Oh, the and who's that? The developers of this game. Hey, I I think they would take offense to that, honestly. <laughs> Yoshi P is a very personable and lovable man. How dare, sir? Um, I'm not saying it as a slight slight to them. I I know what Wait, Reddit. No. I, I, the 1.0 devs. There we oh, go. God. Okay. 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 The there we go. Devs were. Yoshi P, so... Um... No, well, Yoshi P took over from the first director, who was actually Final Fantasy XI's director. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, as I understand, most of the team was relatively the same. Right? Right, and it was mostly because of uh, the 11's director <laughs> uh, direction that it was... Well, yeah. I would presume it was a lot of the direction at Squaresoft at the time, considering that this started development at the same time as 13 was, which was already, you know, all over the place. Yeah. So. Grog money. Grog money? Grog money. I just gave this guy grog money. Wow, you got that grog money? Yeah, Rodit apparently gave me the grog money to go buy grog. Grog gave and that money was for the grog? Quest. I'm getting Ron, uh, Ronit grog, uh, Regit grog, apparently. Ah. Wait, um, by, judging by this conversation, did, or did we already establish that dragons are an alien race? Yes. yes. Okay, I can't remember it's if we were... It's already well known at the beginning of the game. Wait, at the beginning of the game? Hell, I, I don't thought know we... if I remember that far back, but it was it has been established that Megard Sormer, even before we got here, that Megard Sormers flew in from another star. Yeah, because Vitra, Vitra told us that story, right? Uh, so did Tiamat and Midgar Sormer. Okay, I didn't really that really didn't stick with me then with them. They're kind of like one off comments with them, whereas. Okay, I think one thing that might have thrown me off even with them is that even with Vitra's story, I kind of took that as they survived a sundering from another world, not that they were from a different planet, an alien species. Yeah. And I, I get that energy because that's what I thought until I realized that, no, literally from another star. Because it sounds like, like Metion encountered the dragons in her exploration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, minus Midgard Sormer and his clutch. Because mm -hmm. they had already left by the time Meteon came about. Or found them. Okay, wait, wait. Is that is that true? They 
she found the dragons after they had, after Midgar had already left on his own accord. Well, remember how she how she found the dragons, or like the condition that she found them in. Oh, I guess already you're right. Dying off. Yes, but already. they had already established that there were various dragons trying to fly to other places uh, with the same results as, as they were on Atheris, essentially. Yeah, but the fact is that they had mentioned that they they were dying off because of a prolonged war with another race that invaded them. So. Blip bloop. I love seeing all this connected tissue form. Which I believe the um, dragons on Island 1 indicated that it was a uh, mechanical foe. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That tracks. We crashed into that pillar. Oh my god. This is a replica of the 15 car, not the actual 15 car. It can survive crashing into solid objects. I mean, and landing at a not perfect angle. And on uh, and you have to land on a road. This thing can land anywhere. Where? Yeah. On any uh, solid flat surface. Remember, we got the uh, like this was improved by our Sid. Yeah. However, that the purpose of this conversation is not to impart scholarly knowledge. For such requires that you comprehend the subject. Matter. Yeah, if this car was as unstable as the 15 car when flying, no way in hell I would use this as my mount. Ah, crap. Need to switch characters. Uh, let me guess. Hit 90 and then 89. No, this is a uh, 90 quest, I guess. Because oh. I was at 89 and could not complete it. Okay. So. You're on uh, victory something lost. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Let's thoughtful them. We know you guys are screwed, but we're not going to tell you how much time you have left. Could be a minute, could be an hour, could be a week. It's probably a minute or an hour, but, you know, we'll be nice. Don't forget time dilation is a thing. Time dilation? No, God, Eddie. You're wrong. No, no it's not like dilation. We already covered this. It's time compression. With a K. Yes, hence why I keep making the ex explosive sound. Oh. Okay, gooey, gooey goops. Enough of the preamble. Just get to the point. The point is, you're screwed, all life is screwed, all life ever is screwed, and just give up. I mean, it's unfortunate because, let me just check, classes, yeah, I'm like one-fifth of the way to 90 with Ninja, so. Well, I mean, that means when you do your dailies oh, tomorrow yeah. with Ninja, your Ninja's definitely going to hit 90. Or, if not tomorrow, then next time. <laughs> I'll guess I'll get those later. Society 
when our wealth of wisdom accumulated since the dawning of our kind. Right. This game just slotted in heat death of the universe in, into its subject matter. Con congrats, game. Well, isn't it another depressing thought? Well, yeah, existentialism at its finest. We know the terrible secret of space. Would you like to know the terrible secret of space? Um, I guess so. So, which of us is the shovel robot and which of us is the pusher robot? Once we have obtained vessels of flesh. And apparently, Sorry, okay, so the only one that probably remembers that meme is MPX and I. Yes. If you understand this, understand aught of our tale, you will abandon your quest for knowledge. Ignorance truly is bliss. If you would cling to your illusory happiness, remain primitive and pure. Yeesh, why are all these things so close together? You guys must be funded at parties. Uh, there is a specific answer for that, but I feel like saying it out loud could give something away. Yes. So that's your story. You tell him, Yustola. I don't think I'm talking about anything plot relevant, I but okay. Well, I'm just more like the identity and it's nature of easy. the inhabitants of the Third yours. Island. Not mine. In oh, truth, I'm talking about the Aether Currents. Is in the oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were talking okay. about um, enemies on the Third Island. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm mind. talking about something completely different. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't make the incorporeal weirdos angry. The subject matter is They're not actually knowledge. incorporeal. And oh, I those weirdos. I do not possess the knowledge the... to prove or disprove. They're not yes. really angry, they're just disappointed. I doubt I could even approach the wisdom of the air. We just gave There's... you the answer to the universe. But if you don't like it, then you should probably we'll just, just teach you chill again. I would not be happy or, you know, just universe. chill and don't worry about it too much. It's going to happen whether you like it or not. Just, you know, go it's live your life. Know. There you go, Estrella. Like, I'm not your boss. There you go. lesson I've learned <laughs> is that learning isn't simply passing one's eyes over words. Nay, it is when understood for oneself that knowledge attains its yep. true. Yep, still was turned to talk to them. This is what has sustained me, driven me onward in joy and wonder, in anger and sorrow. The universe may end, and all may be for naught. But I will live as I always have. I will always seek out new knowledge. And no conclusion of yours, no matter how grim, can dampen my desire. I suppose it is only to be expected. Their feeble minds cannot fathom the terrifying gravity of it all. Okay, so... That's what's going on with references of the Third Island. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, it's going to be lost on me and Eddie. Yep. But we'll take care of that after we finish the uh, MSQ. Another another tornado. Oh no, Dorothy! So we're at what? Uh, there may be a way to restore it. Of course, there's a way to restore it, Yishola. So long no. as our souls Yishola... can use it to summon us back. But you must. Sancred, Destinian. 
this I only reveal so that you can promise not to I would point out that Ishtola very specifically no said um yes so uh Asmund's magic would work but you sh but you can't do not look back. Mm -hmm. because he, if she you do she didn't yes and me Ishtola she very specifically said no but no but Also, it's not just Estola. Thou shalt not suffer for mine absence. Both your calls in the same tornado. <laughs> As he betrays our expectations by not living. Despite of this, I may still stand with my comrades, supporting them. learned in the course of our journey and many though my shortcomings may be i may also claim to excel in prophecies my studies into which have granted me the flexibility of mind needed to bend this malleable reality thus shall i hope that thou mayest have the strength to resist and our comrades the strength to continue With you to urge us on, how could we possibly fail? Boom. Yep. And then there were three plus MC. My husband and the twins are all that's left. What's this? Enough to form a party. An extinguished mm -hmm. civilization. Funny how that works, huh? We... That's right. Our quest doesn't end here. We'll press on, and we will find you. There. That's where you'll find me. Is that another star? Of the stars we visited, most were already devoid of life. And where there was life still, the inhabitants wished for death, but even death, we learned, isn't truly the end. It is but a part of the cycle of rebirth. And now to fish. Souls return to the star, or in its absence, a larger flow. And eventually they are reborn, alive again, to know suffering anew. True salvation lies not in dying. It lies in not being born. Metion. This is the gift I would give to you. To all life on beautiful Aetherius. To that end, we created an egg wherein life cannot quicken. That dead sun. Attain it if you can before your friend's emotions fade away, along with their protection. On times. Oh no. And that's the last one. You got all your ether currents? All the uh, free range ones. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Free range aether currents. 
I don't like those caged ether currents. I'm about to run into a big problem. What's that? 11 o'clock? No, um... My lack of 90. What, what? My lack what? of 90. My, my, my... Red Mage not being level 90. That's a problem. Oh. Uh, I mean... Me. If that's a problem, then you can very easily swap to one of your infinite 90s. Yeah. You did, you did ha create several. Yes. I mean, I don't think the 90 quests give out experience anyway. No. Literally not. Ooh, we get to fight. Fight, fight, fight. This place is different. Yeah, it's a little different, isn't it? Well, they probably give experience once it's the next expansion shows up, you know, in two years from now. Mm hmm yeah. And now, time for something completely different. A man with three buttocks. Oh, right. I can't do the Dia Dev because I'm in a party. Lol. Ass butts. I can't fish to 50 because of you. I mean, sure if I you're... Uh, you could exit the party if you're just not just, if, since you're doing that. I don't think we're gonna be getting to the dungeon soon. Oh no. God, no! It's literally impossible for us to do that tonight. Yeah. Even if we try to go for another hour. Yeah. Mm, I would say it's probably about an hour and a half to two hours out. Ah. Really, my my chief concern is that will four hours on Wednesday be enough to take us to the end? Uh, I feel yes. Yes. Because right we... now you're on that. Right now you're on the quest victory something something lost, right? Yep. So if you're on the, that quest, then you only have five quests after that, uh, including Endwalker. Free to move about the cabin now. Are you? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna overshoot slightly. Only slightly? Only slightly. I feared you might want to grab that. Yum, yum, yum. And also, yum, the yum. trader is to your right, the gemstone trader. There be gemstones in them, their hills. It is too early to speak, apparently. Ah, uh, okay. Actually, that's an interesting question. Uh, do all the Aetherite here not spin? Ah! Uh, I you just might noticed be it right. from the stream, and obviously this one doesn't spin. But I might have to check the other ones again. Uh, I like... think point one. I think the uh, dragon one doesn't. I don't remember actually if the Yaw one does. Because it might be an interesting detail here. Mm hmm. I 
I mean, the fact that they function, period, is already kind of miraculous if you think about it from a story perspective. Yeah, Aether, yeah. I, Aether isn't supposed to function here at all. Yeah. Why did there a Aether currents? I mean that too. They're not. A they're not true aether currents. They're dynamis currents. We're just treating them as aether currents. Right, the switch. Nintendo. I'll have to finish level leveling him up to, to 90 before Wednesday, which... Also, and, just to... Go ahead. Sorry. No, you go ahead. I was going to just quickly say, how am I ever going to get him to 90 before Wednesday? The world may never know. Anyways. Uh, is the uh, dungeon in this part uh, the final Aether current? I believe so. No, the, okay. the, the, the quest before the dungeon... Provides the final Aether current. Okay. But if it's that far out, it's going to be hard to do that. Yeah, I ain't getting there today, for sure. I don't know. Oh yeah, God no. Well, what I'm saying is it's unlikely for me to get there. What quest are you on right now? Probably only a few ahead of yours. At best. I mean, there's only a few left ahead of his. Well, it depends on what you mean by a few. Uh, I mean, literally, based on the one he's on right now, there are five quests left after this one until the end of the expansion. So far. Yay! I can now skyfish. Excellent. Or at least skyfish plus. We're gonna go. We're gonna look for Sir. I mean, Fate Test will have a, a a machine gun's worth of jokes to say to to our robot, Sir. I mean, maybe. We're gonna tell Sir all the various places he is not in, or various places he is in. No, Sir. Uh, these quests and the names are so hard to read. Um, he oh, just hello. started Honor Bound, I, is what I want to call it. Oh. I love my quest name. <laughs> okay. Hello, world. Hola. Okay. This, this uh, Honor Bound is probably the last one I'm going to do tonight. Okay. Yeah, so you're literally on the next quest after him. Okay. I was like, dude, would you like a ride? Because trust me, this is not an easy uh, walk. No, it's not. It in isn't. fact, it's a particularly pain in the ass walk. And walker? Hmm. Let's take a look at it. Take a look. It's not in a book, but it's a council. A, um... Reading Lack of Rainbow. You activate it by saying the magic word. Oh, well, I'm out of ideas. As am I. Operating such consoles is trying enough, but if we can't even activate it, 
Have you tried using your butt yet? There is a way. First, consider the world that has been recreated here. Its inhabitants were machines who gathered combat data to enhance themselves. And among the many wars they waged, the most notable was that against the dragon. The significance of these details may be lost on you now, but they lead me to believe this was the home world of Omega. I, I speak of the ancient weapon, the one which the Alliance unleashed upon Shinra. Ah, interesting. But according to the records I read in the future, it possessed a mm -hmm. sort of weakness, lightning. That's all well and good, but what does that... Wait. You're not thinking to strike the console with lightning, are you? <laughs> as a matter of fact, I am. Ask yourselves this. Why would an entity as puissant as Omega not be designed to suppress the effects of lightning? Because it relies upon it, or something akin to it, as a source of energy. My thoughts exactly. And there is a good chance the same is true of the Omicrons and their devices. 46. So, shall I cast caution to the wind and try something reckless and dramatic? Perhaps. Did we previously establish the origins of Omega? Or yes. hint at it? And I'm just again the forgetting. Omega quest line, yes. In the, the Omega one... quest line, yes. The oh. stuff that you didn't do. Well, yeah, because we were going to do it together. We'll do it after this. Because of time shenanigans. Well. It wasn't required reading. Yeah. It's it it gives us better reading if we did it, but it, it worked. Now we're gonna fight an army of omegas. Oh, Hello, Dave. Sir, 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 this isn't Terminator. This is, however, a Wendy's. Wait, we have questions for you. Of late, no mission orders have been issued. Why not? Has there been some manner of trouble? Oh. Sir, who are you, Legion from Mass Effect? Uh, they're essentially the Borg. Uh, Borg implies assimilation. Well, a mix of Borg... And I'm trying to think of a, like other like hive mind tell us why the mech extended operations races hasn't yet determined the guidelines. Well, yeah, the, the the creatures and robot the robots in a uh, Mass Effect come to mind for sure. Now, in that case, is it possible for us to communicate directly with the unit? I I'm not sure if they do count because it's this weird amalgamation of hive mind plus individual all at the same time is there anything you can tell us is it at that legion or the the ai that we um it's maker companion or is the exception to that well from what i remember like from what i remember of watching a couple of videos is that there are multiple hive minds okay that might be true so, Legion is one of them that's more in tune with, you know, helping out organics. I could activate it again. But oh, I that's one I could think of. What do you think? But uh, it kind of really is a little spoiler for the. Uh, then I doubt they were hoping for life. Have we given away their names yet? As this sir told us, there just haven't been. I don't think so. Uh, should be standing by anyway. Can I give away their names? Because it's not that hard of a name. Perhaps we can glean a clue. 
I propose to uh... look around and also try to find the operations unit. That was my full answer slash reaction. Eh. It's like, I feel like we'll find out soon enough what their full, uh, full name is anyway. Ready. I know. I was just getting the marker. Much appreciated. Time for zoom action. See what you can see. Normal conversation between a man and a robot at the end of the universe. Totally normal. And 47. So the normal behavior seems to be uh, seems to be either engaged in conversation or get ooh, engaged in a specific ooh, activity. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where'd you go? I miss you so. Man, that guy's fast. You know, that's a very hard promise to keep. Where'd you go? I missed you so. Uh, it's. Uh, the one wandering around. Yeah, but I yeah, lost it's him. It's not moving near, past it. It's yeah, not moving near the past right. wandering. Usually it's around there. Here we go. Target acquired. Yeah, you're looking for the one that's derping. I got it. Seems like it's been forever since you've been gone. Come back Follow the robot. Follow the robot. Follow the robot. Maybe that robot went far. Not that far. At least not when you can fly. Thankfully, I can. Thankfully, someone can. Okay. Ooh. Ooh! Hunt targets. And there's only one. You only needed the one. Yep. Danger's over. Hello, oh. Robo. Domo arigato. 
Mr. Roboto. Do all dumbo, these dumbo. birds have something different on them? Um, maybe. I don't recall seeing that. Or maybe it's just that I finally noticed it. Which thing? Uh, this one had a, like, ring around one of the legs. Interesting. <laughs> uh, also, 48. If I can snag myself to 50. Oh, hey, the best ride ever. Uh. That's the game, right? Hmm? A vocal track just started playing. Oh, oh yes. yeah, that's the game. That's the game. You're on your way to Island 4, it sounds, I'm presuming? Pretty much. Yes, you're discovering AI learning. Eventually, they'll they'll band together and rise up against their former masters. That's how that works. Right, yeah. Um Sea Terminator. So there is one challenge I would mention, uh, which is that if I recall correctly, the NPC that you're talking to here ends your quest, which means that the next quest starts again here. So it's up to you if you want to do what you have been doing, um, or you can pick this up and then just not do anything with it tonight. If the quest you mean, is that what you're saying? I would recommend going ahead and picking it up, even though I know that's not your normal pattern. Just because it's kind of a pain in the butt to come back out here for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the Aetherite, isn't it? Well, it's just the fact that it's uh, up on Island 3.5 by the tree. I see what you mean, yeah. So with that, I think we can call it good here, just because it's kind of getting late. Um, yep. We only have four quests left in this expansion, and that's hopefully one every hour is all it'll take to finish the rest of them on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we'll be able to blow through the first three decently quickly, and then the fourth one is going to have the dungeon, the trial, and the battlefield. Yeah. That's in a that particular order. Spicy in meatball. That particular order. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's like two hours of content right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna have like two hours to complete the other three quests. <laughs> Which I, sounds... I feel like it's doable. And then after um, that, well, after that, damn, we'll, we'll be done. Keep in mind, after that, you have wrap-up cutscenes. Several will play in advance. 
And then we get to do shenanigans. Important <laughs> shenanigans. Well, the shenanigans in this case are uh, endgame content stuff. Do we so want to start with like... end walker endgame content, or do we want to go? Is this where we want to go back to start doing the stuff we we missed? We'll probably want to be knock out the ninety dungeons first, just so that we have yeah. them done. Yeah, not sure if we want to do the eight man raids. I'm I'm pretty sure we might want to, but I'd rather do the dungeons first so we can. Oh hey 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 hey. What? He was Being jumping around so much that he pissed off a couple of locals. Oh. So it wasn't me going, yeah, no, we want to do the dungeon so we can at least gear up properly. No, not that. Really? You're just gonna, you're just gonna let us handle this one? I, my chocobo was helping. Or no, it's your chocobo. Never mind. My chocobo. Man, oh, Eddie. Remember, your chocobo died. Oh, my poor Chocobo. Also, oh, are you okay, MPX? You sound like you're uh -oh, dying. I just almost screwed up. Uh-oh. I got in my car. Oh. Oh, that part, yeah. Okay. Especially when I'm almost done with it. <laughs> Ooh, you might want to jump in so I can deliver you to safety, at least. Oh, I'm, telling, I'm teleporting back to Mist. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, damn it. I had that going. Why did I push that button? Uh, mistake. They were made. Mistakes were done. And my fish boy is almost 50. And most of his levels were done, weirdly enough, in the Diadem. Gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and close the stream. We'll be back on Wednesday for what will very likely be our final playthrough of Endwalker. We will have reached the end of Endwalker. Of Endwalker, Endwalker MSQ. Yes. At least until 6.1 comes out. Which, is there a timeline for that yet? I think next month. Oh, wow. Yeah, so already next month. Already. Okay. Then, yeah. I guess, yeah. And, and in the meantime, well, it's, I guess we're, we, it'd almost be impossible that we won't be busy enough with only a month between now and, and 6.1 release. I was going to say that maybe we need to start considering a, a another fill-in game, but I, I, that probably won't be the case. Yeah, although, barely. although I do I do know which game we're going to play for the stream next. Final Fantasy 1? No, no, no. I mean, part of me thinks that is not a terrible idea, but I was actually thinking Elden Ring. I almost want to do this one quest just simply so I can get the Aether current. You don't let me stop I you. Mean, fair enough. We're I'm not gonna, gonna stop it. you, MPX. I know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need the ride, so. Okay. At least not yet. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and bounce then. Okay. I'm shutting shutting off the stream. See you all on Wednesday. Night, Bye. Everybody.